You mentioned dildos. <laughs> no idea at all. Okay, so we're about to play. Oh, Kalafra Games is here. Uh oh, Kala. Um. So last week, last week we played some D and D. Our first session of I mean, the Crimson Lotus. Um. Should we have a quick recap as to what happened? No. Okay, you can remember everything. Flawlessly. I have no idea. Okay. Hey, just Scott. So last week you found yourself imprisoned in an underground dungeon, uh, which was also the home of some slimes and a giant spider, <laughs> like you do. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And the Crimson Lotus, you managed to escape you free adventurers, I almost said heroes, adventurers <laughs> banded together um, and uh, managed to escape said dungeon with two girls in tow. Um, Helena and Tabitha, they... Uh, they lived just down the road in a town called Ardington. As you escaped the uh, the cave system, you ran into a few more members of the Crimson uh, Lotus where Aidan Abelgrain uh, met you by uh, by killing some, some or an orc right in front of you um, and told you about a deal that he had with Datus Eldon, the head of the Israelware Council, um, and that to any insignia that they return to the capital, Israel, where uh, they are being paid for. He said, told you he didn't know too much about them, uh, but the money was good. Um, and that was pretty much it. You then headed off to, um, to Ardington, uh, where you met Brian and Devon, the two members of the, uh, the uh, town's watch, who, uh, who helped you uh, find a place to stay for the evening, got you fed, had a few beers. Ignis went on the uh, prowl for a, uh, a female um, unsuccessfully uh, and then <laughs> and then there was a massive was there was a massive waterfall um, there was a um, there was a, a an evening of rest and then you were woken by Devon knocking at the door saying that Brian had gone missing he, uh, he wasn't on his rounds the door was locked to his home uh, and he dropped the bombshell that it's not the first time it happened. It started about a month ago when cattle started going missing from the McKeith homestead, which is about 10 m minutes away to the, uh, to the north. Um, and then uh, humans had started going missing maybe uh, a week to two weeks ago. Uh, and that's pretty much where we left it. Also, the third sister died. The third sister died. We don't talk yeah. about her. Yeah, but we did have an entire party about her death. But we don't. people disappear, we just kind of... We don't. We don't talk about her because she's the one that would have put out. <laughs> of course, Guys, was. going back to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, with the three broods. <laughs> yeah, so we have a, a, a exciting party. Um, I guess you guys should just introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about your characters. Yeah, no problem. I'm Kane Mordred. I'm a fallen Asmir. Um, I guess my class would technically be oath breaker but for the time being until level three i'm just kind of going as paladin um yeah i think that's a it's my my way to get to try out since it's my second time getting to play this game instead of just dming it like i usually do last time i tried the goofy character this time i'm trying the broody character luckily the rest of my party also decided to do the exact same thing <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to introduce yourselves yeah more or less um i'm ignis fam for it I am an incubus, which you don't know is a male version of a succubus, which more or less sex fiends, demons, pretty much. Um, surprisingly enough, I typically fiends and demons come from the demon world, or um, I think there's seven different levels of hell. Something like that. I come from neither of them. Uh, probably find that, find out where I come from, maybe later on. It depends. Is it Ardington? <laughs> the nine layers, yeah, yeah. And Jesse, playing yeah. into that coin. Um, that's me, and I'm uh, actually playing uh, a character. I'm a dark elf. Uh, ranger, I guess. Um, come from down below, of course, a different type of down below, though. This is terrestrial <laughs> down below. And um, 
Yeah, he's the other brooding character. He's uh, been fucked over a lot. A lot. So is the Incubus. <laughs> yes, no, I, but... I, I'm the one who does the fucking. And he does it in the fun way. My yeah, I'm glad you spelled that out for us, in case yeah. we didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, that and um, I forgot to say what I am a sorcerer. I think so, I so, forgot to say that. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, We're so all trying to out, out uh, what we call each other, out Broodlord. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was out a bit. Ed, it was a bit edgy. I will say that. <laughs> there was a lot of edging going. Hold on. Ricardo's not here, so. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So. Uh, and then Carla, they need to be here. We miss you guys. Yeah. We yeah. Definitely yeah. We do. Need, we definitely need a really annoying voice, um, <laughs> to go to the party. Oh yeah, good point. No, I'm um, the more annoying look. You know what? He's right. We do need edgy voices for our character, Jesse. Oh no. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh no, everything I do is so edgy and dark. Why are we all talking in the same voice? Oh, hold on. I turned into the movie voice, man. That's the, that's the <laughs> <other> <laughs> voice. In a world. In a world. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? I was I born that calm. Yeah, I believe so. So, um, so, Devin, the last thing that Devin said to you is that uh, you should head off to the McKeith homestead. He gave you some directions uh, to it. He told you that it uh, sits about a 10-minute walk to the north of the town, um, just on the, on the crest of a hill. Um, he also offered you um, weapons if you needed them uh, from what he'd, what he'd got in store. Uh, does he happen to have a better bow or possibly more arrows or companion or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone to do attacks for me like last game or... comes out with actually... a cat comes out yeah. with a cat under his arm and just yeah. throws it um yeah i mean he says you know he's he hasn't got much that you know that the um city well, doesn't have a great deal but he's even a longbow would help uh mike because i mean i got a short bow Okay. It's only one d six. The longbow would be one d eight. I mean, non D and D language. Yeah, no, he obviously understood exactly what you meant, without those <laughs> things being said. Um, and then he uh, he looks at you two. Anything that you guys need? Uh, I lay my back against the wall with my arms crossed, and I just kind of <laughs> ignore him. <laughs> he he pulls out a chair for you. Kind of flip <laughs> your hair a little bit. Okay, so he heads off. Um, he heads off to do his thing. You guys have finished eating your breakfast. What do you want to do? I pull out my vape and start vaping because I'm edgy. I don't know if vape is edgy. Like, that, almost seems, no. that almost seems like it'd be more clothes. hipstery. Yeah, it probably would be hipster. You haven't seen what his vape looks like. <laughs> the head's it's, it's tall. tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is true. We'll... Um, give us a twenty-minute description of what the vape looks like <laughs> and how it how it works. Yeah, the smoke comes out the eyes. <laughs> and... <laughs> um, he sucks on the wiener. Where where <laughs> we're still in town? Are we? He's still in the he's still in the tavern. So uh, Quintic brought over yeah. some some leftovers for you. Um, you've been eating those whilst. Uh, well, sort of Devin was was finishing up. He's he's headed off. He said he was going to go look for the key for for Brian's house. Said you know you're he would suggest you go talk to um, the McKee residents, but you're welcome to do what you want if you you know you're happy to help out, try and find what's happening. That's, that's the farm, the cow farm. Yeah. Um, was that well? Didn't we? I'm sorry. Didn't we last time decide that we're headed that way? already right. or i think so, so. You, so you guys you guys head out he says he'll find what weapons he's got you guys head out of the out of the tavern head out through the uh through the gate and you see a nice path it's a nice day sun shining it's about 11 o'clock maybe um sort of 10 maybe 10 o'clock by the time you guys leave um and and sort of soon as you walk out the door and just turn towards the north you see uh, the farmstead at the top of a hill, sort of in the distance, but it's a you know, it's a reasonable walk, but it's a quite clear path against across some rolling fields uh, up to the up to the farm. As you um, you guys approach, you see this wooden barn on top of a on the top of a hill, a, a wooden farmhouse, uh, both shade of of sort of a pastel pink with white accents around the uh, the window sills, the um, shutters. It's a you know picturesque little little place. 
What are you guys doing? Drinking the edgiest of drinks. H2. <laughs> H3O wouldn't have it, wouldn't have it any other way. H six 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 O. God, true edge lord. I can't deal. <laughs> so you just are you just walking up there? Just, are you? I'm, I mean, yeah. you said it's wide open, so I'm assuming we can kind of see what's around us. Yeah, yeah. It just yeah. it looks like a normal a normal barn on a normal day. Yeah, then I you know I've gotten. Oops, Nothing to worry about here. I'm just going to go on up to the place. Okay. So as you approach, you um, you head up. There's uh, there's a man, a, a well-built man, blonde hair, bending over in a field. Uh, oh, there you go, Miss. He's plowing in a field, <laughs> um, just tilling the tilling the land. As you um, as you approach, you uh, you come up between the uh, the sort of the barn and, and one of the fields. You uh, you spot him in the field sort of further away. You also see, sitting out the front of the house, uh, a heavily pregnant um, female, blonde hair again. Uh, she, pregnant. she spots you guys approaching and, uh, and calls out to Charles, um, who looks up, looks at you, looks a little tentative about the, uh, the approach of free characters and free races that he's, uh, he's never seen before and quite swiftly walks over to to his home to stand between you and his wife. Uh, what, what can I do you for? That was him, not her. <laughs> we could do uh, Ignis for about 20 pounds. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Scott's campaign, it's pounds instead of bucks. Can be whatever you like. Okay. Blooms. <laughs> Gold sterlings. What can I do you for? I'm too edgy to do the talking. You guys are going to have to do it. Yeah. He goes back to his, he goes back to his field and starts plowing again. <laughs> the sweat That's glistens it. off his brow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to say we're looking for a um, young man by the name Devin. You mean the, the, the captain of the town watch? Oh, no, not him, his um, uh, assistant. Brian! Yeah, Brian. What? Well, where, where is he? Uh, apparently he's gone missing. When you think he'll be up here? Maybe, I mean, that's where... Apparently your livestock has been disappearing as well. Yeah. Oh! Why didn't you say that? He, um... He just did. Because I was drinking H2O. <laughs> H H6660. <laughs> From a water skin. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, a dead, it, it, as a dead alligator. <laughs> it's got a pentagram that I drew on it's it. It's a dead goat <laughs> with a pentagram on it. <laughs> he um he goes on to explain that it started about a month ago. Um, that the cat was in the in the field that he was in. Um, and you can see that there's there's fifty or so cows off into a, a field a bit further down the road, sort of grazing. Um, he goes on to say that he was. The cat was out in the field, and one morning, one of it, one of it had gone. He, um, you know, there wasn't any blood, there wasn't any tracks. Didn't look like anyone had broken down any of the fences. It just, it just vanished. Um, a couple more over the next week went missing. Um, so he, um, he decided to start putting the cattle in the barn overnight. Um, just carried on going missing um, until about a week ago, when, when it just seemed to stop. Um, well, it stopped out of out of game because it job sounds job. like we got some aliens. <laughs> I was gonna say, <clears throat> gonna say aliens I wouldn't like no, because they would mutilate the cattle. Sorry, was that, mutilate was that a question to the to me or no? I was talking to them because I said out of game. <laughs> yeah, Jordan said out of game. He thinks it's aliens. I think it's like a giant in game. I started thinking it was like a giant bird or something. If he said that they disappeared without any blood or teleportation, anything. yeah, because I'm sure the talons wouldn't leave any blood. <laughs> or, uh, I mean, you do it quick enough. So, um, he looks up at you. Do you want to have a look round at barn? Hmm. Yes. No, but I will. Yeah. Okay, so he wanders over. There's a there's a a nice large 
barn sort of pastel shade of pink as well all of the uh, all of the frames painted um white he uh, he comes over he lifts up this large piece of wood that's currently locking the barn um puts it down to the side opens the door if he opens the door it's it's a barn it's um you know it's straw on the floor there's there's troughs either side obviously the cattle has still been sort of staying overnight in there so there's a bit of a stench as he opens the door and the stench of sort of cooped up livestock floats out yep this is definitely a barn aye it's a barn i mean he's kind of gesturing you in right yeah um but he senses that senses that you're all a bit apprehensive so he walks in first yeah he he seems a bit overly trusting yeah i'm i'm just gonna go in and start looking around <laughs> Okay. Do you want to uh, roll yeah. me investigation? I would, I would love to. Uh, investigation or perception? Uh, investigation, because you're actively looking right. for okay, I gotcha. something. Um, hey, good news. It's the same exact thing, so it doesn't matter. It's not for me. I, My investigation zero. Mine's perception's two. It's a 12 total. Okay. Since I'm leaning really cool against the wall and not actively looking, can that use perception instead? Because mine's up plus two um, perception, zero investigation. He gets bonus uh, edgelord points. You can with disadvantage because you're trying to look cool while looking for clues. Oh, well, that's um, simple. Watch this. Dual 20s. Here we go. There you go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Ignis, are you doing anything? Are you? Yeah, I'm going to roll for investigation. Okay, I mean, Jordan, you stand on the edge looking in. Do um, I look cool? <laughs> roll me a performance check. Oh, man. I need to brag or anything. I mean, you look pretty cool. Uh, you know, that's also plus four performance. You, you look pretty cool. I mean, you stand <laughs> leaning. The sun is kind of catching half your face, casting a, a pretty good shadow. Unfortunately, that shadow hinders... Uh, the guys looking into the barn um they don't find anything cool. it's it's a barn pretty much it's a barn that's had cattle in uh, for about three or two or three weeks without any more cattle going missing so obviously there's there's been a lot of trampling a lot of of hide placed on the ground you can't find anything what do you suggest we do Talking to my party. It's not the guy. There's like nothing here. Yeah, maybe check the field where the we're disappearing from. Because if they're not disappearing from the farm, then maybe it's something they, in the field. They did from the barn too, didn't they? Yes. Uh, yeah. I up until a week oh. ago. What happened a That's week right. ago? Yeah, I was gonna. I asked that to him. To the to the man? Yes. Yeah. Well he looks at you quite he's quite shocked that you don't know. Um and he says uh well pe people started going missing. And you recollect that Devin told you that about a month ago cattle started going missing, about two weeks ago it stopped, and then uh you recall that he told you that Eldna and uh Robert and Ingrid all went missing over the course of the last week or so. I'm sorry, I'll be a little do we know where they went missing from? Uh, he, I don't think um, Devin told you. I, I'm actually asking him that. In in town, we. I mean, we don't spend much time in town. So they weren't visiting you when they no. disappeared. No, the only only thing we've had go missing is cattle. Has anything new came into town recently? He thinks, I mean, he, you can tell from his demeanor that he doesn't spend a lot of time in town. He's generally up on the up on the farm. Well, since cattle's right. been disappearing for a while, I wasn't sure if, you know, anybody no, he, knew he was I wandered mean, by. He goes on to say that, that Devin on his rounds sort of pops out every once in a while um, and kind of keeps them clued in as to what's happening. But, you know, you sense that from from being up here, just him and his, his wife and her expecting a child, he doesn't spend a lot of time away from here um he has people come up and pick cow when it's going to uh to slaughter um you know so he's sort of making his making his his ends meet and and that's pretty much it are there any additional doors to this barn 
Uh, there is. It's a door with the opposite side. Okay. Um, while while they're kind of talking or whatever, I just have I I wander outside. Uh, I want to see. I want to do a perception or investigation check of uh, the uh, field. Okay. Eight total. Okay, so you get down on your knees. Um, you're sort of brushing some of the, the soil around you. Put some on your finger, lick it a little bit. Um, it's, Tasty. It's, it's soil. Yeah. Drenched in cow pie. Better than uh, what I see in the Underdark. <laughs> it's, you know, you know, it's a, a field. You can't really see anything. Yeah. I mean, there are no obvious traces of, of blood that you sort of have a wander around the fence. You I'm... can't see any any signs of of the fence being moved you know not the uh the ground itself being disturbed anywhere or nothing. not not from what you can see guys i rolled an eight i don't know <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll, I'll wander back and... okay you noticed at that point that that charles was keeping quite an eye on you to make sure that you didn't head off towards his 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 pregnant wife um whilst you were looking around Roll me. That's fair. Roll me some perception. Yeah. All of us. Uh, anyone who wants to. Yeah, uh, might as well. Fourteen. I mean, you you sense ridiculously high numbers. You sense that he's he's being quite genuine. He sense you sense that he, you know, he he is he's telling you what he knows. Um, yeah. He was surprised to see you because because Devon hadn't mentioned anything about you, you turning up, and because it's been a couple of weeks since the cattle's gone missing, and it seems to have stopped. He seems to have have calmed down a little bit from it going missing. You know, it was severely threatening his his livelihood, um, but now it's sort of stopped. Obviously, he's concerned that there are people going missing. But on where, the other hand, where are where are the the cows now they're in a field just slightly further over so you can see the field opposite his his home so um, there are just, two different fields he's got so there's three fields there's a smaller field which looks like it generally contains crops there's uh, there's one a little bit further over that looks like at some points it's um it's holding cattle and another one that is holding cattle looks like there's obviously a rotation to make sure there's a enough food for the food for the cows um all right, I don't know if this would be an investigation role or not, but does it, or maybe even animal handling, but does it seem like the animals are sticking away from a specific side of the field or anything like that? Like, are there, are they? Roll me, yeah, roll me um, animal handling, I guess, uh, nature check, maybe. Um, probably more yeah. nature, but it's your call, yeah. Scott. Probably nature. You, you're not planning on touching the cows, I assume. You sure, you don't want animal handling on there. <laughs> Are you gonna go befriend them? Maybe mm -hmm. twenty total. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it. I mean, they look like cows in a field, going about their daily routines as cows do in a field. You know, mostly chewing okay. grass. You know, they, they seem yep. evenly spread around the field. I mean, as where they're standing, they're not. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I, I don't know what, what more we're going to accomplish here. Then what do you suggest? Don't look at me. Maybe we head back to town. I'm off into the distance, like five <laughs> degrees away from you, so it looks <laughs> more dramatic. It's talking up to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> God, what do you yeah. suggest? <laughs> It just shines brighter down on you. Actually, it does kind of work for me, though, because, yeah. you know, I'm like hey, a fallen yeah. angel. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we head back to town and see if Devin found those um, keys to Brian's house. Let's go. All right. Okay. This is a good cattle ranch trip, guys. Wait, we didn't get any souvenirs. Guys, can we get some souvenirs? Take that cow. <laughs> oh, maybe we keep the baby. <laughs> you extract the baby anyway. Let's... You realize it exactly. Yeah. Okay, so you guys, you guys start heading back towards the town. 
still quite a nice afternoon. Yeah. Maybe t 10 minutes, 20 minutes have gone past. <laughs> that um, was a pretty far walk. 10 minutes to get there. Um, you then were there for about Three 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then turn around and walk back for about 10 minutes. Um, so you get back into town. Sort of, um, as you get there, um, Devin is standing at um, a house trying some keys in a, in a lock. Yeah. Um, there seems to be a few people sort of looking a little bit concerned gathering around sort of the i guess where he's opening the door um obviously in a small town you assume that news has has traveled um and uh so devin calls you over um and as he does he sort of then clicks the key in the door opens up the door you head into to brian's brian's house which is this one down down here okay okay all right do we have to start singing Brian's song in order to enter the... Would you like to sing Brian's song? No, not at all, because I particularly can't think of how it goes. So. Okay, well, I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you walk up to the house, it's, a, it's a, a small town house made of wood. As you go in, there's a, there's a small lit sort of kitchenette area to the left, um, a, a tiny bath just to the corner of the room. Uh, a chair, a table and chair in the middle of the room. There's a uh, an inkwell with some paper just on the table, uh, and and uh, a made bed just on the uh, you know on the on the other side of the room with a chair, bed still made. Somebody slept in hell in this house. I'm gonna start going through his shit. Not. Um, he gets in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Find out. No, um, Bad house. To start rifling through all his random stuff, not to find out anything about what we're trying to do, just to go through his stuff. Not even okay. like taking anything, just kind of. Okay. Um, roll me some investigation. What about your other two? What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna. I think he said he was gonna write right. like a love letter or something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can look for that. Because I think that's like the last thing he said to us was going to go and yep. write a love letter. Okay. So, um, Jesse, you head over to the kitchen area to begin with. There's, um, there's some, some meat sort of hanging from the, from the, above the stove. Uh, some vegetables on the side. There's a, a clean pot that looks like it's used to do most of the cooking. Um, doesn't look like anything's been been cooked in the kitchen for a, a while. Um, there isn't a great deal more to look at. There's a you know some clothes sort of on the on the floor folded up. Um, doesn't look like he owns a huge amount. It's a sort of a humble home. Um, you get the feeling that he probably just goes to work and and stays in the town. And you know that existence doesn't really require a, a great deal. Uh, Carl, you look through the papers, and actually, yeah. interestingly, there's there's the quill tucked in the in the inkwell. Uh, a bit of ink splattered around the the table, but um, right. there's there's a, a stack of about two or three pages of of paper. Um, you flick through them, you look on them, but nothing appears to have been written on them. Now, is there impressions in the paper? Like, can we take a pencil and CSI it and see what was written last? Potentially. Uh, roll me, <laughs> roll me some investigation. Uh, Kane, what are you doing at this point? Let me guess. Go ahead and guess then. Uh, are you leaning on anything? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, Jesse, you get down, you put one of the pieces of paper on top of, of the, the one on the top. You start dipping the, the pen in the ink and starting to lightly scrawl across the paper. Uh, you just leave a big blur Slide. of ink across yeah. the page. Um, you get the feeling that something was potentially sort of impressed on that piece of paper, that top piece of paper, but uh, you've kind of just you know, just it. drawn Ruined on a piece it. of paper, essentially. I, actually, I have a habit of doing that. I say I'm actually talking to the people and seeing if anything else has changed or if they've heard anything else, anybody else appeared, or just any basic information like that that we could try and work off of, or okay. if they even have any other suggestions besides going to the farm. Okay, so a couple of you, a, a couple of them, sort of look at you and sort of walk walk off a little bit apprehensive about oh i see how it is you've never seen a black angel before <laughs> <laughs> a little bit apprehensive about your appearance um the one you do speak to uh, is an elderly man i always um, want to be a sassy angel so. 
he sort of he, he, he asks uh, what you're doing here. Um, he obviously wasn't around yesterday evening to hear the the story. Um, you, he goes on to say that he hasn't heard anything. He lives just outside of the town, but um, Devon had said that that <coughs> Brian hasn't reported, um, and he was concerned about him. Doesn't appear to know any anything huge, but um, do you want to? You know, you're welcome to ask him any questions or talk to him. Where does Helena live? Uh, she lives. So he, she lives. She lives outside of town, about fifteen twenty minutes away, uh, in a, another farmstead to the to the east. Of course, she does. Hmm. Did anyone look there? Uh, you noticed that you guys last time you spoke to Devon in the in the inn, you said that he was going to see. You, he might have gone to see Helena, and he said that he had done his rounds and hadn't seen anything or heard anything. Um, Devon at this point is walking around the um, walking around the room having a little look um, sort of investigating to see if he can see anything Scott so any, yes after um, 25 made um, or tried to do the trick with the paper and said that he did like sense that there was stuff written on it but messed up with ink mm -hmm. i would like oh, to I would use never admit to messing up uh anything. press a digit press a digitation to clean okay. that off because i okay. can um in instinctually okay. clean or soil an object no longer than one cubic foot so piece of paper is easy enough to clean this is off a really big ink. piece of paper <laughs> no, you uh, poster board. <laughs> you uh, you instantaneously pull your, hand, pull your hands out, and the the ink that that uh, twenty five had scribbled on drifts away from the the page. I was helping. Wouldn't that clean off any in, in like indication of something being there? Maybe. Probably. Not to help out our DM or anything. <laughs> find his loopholes, but I mean the ink is definitely gone. <laughs> All right, does um, I'm going to look at the paper and see if there's any like marks on um or indication that it was still written on. Will that be investigation? Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's never good when your DM says, Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know what trying to. We're trying to yeah. replicate the <laughs> the writing of a letter by using ink on a piece of paper. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, was that your role? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you scribble on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to scribble on it. I just kind of okay. wanted like... Scott, you've never seen that like, on feel the paper. Iron Shirt. You've also yeah. obviously never used a quill before. It doesn't <laughs> scribble in that way. Yeah, I really said doesn't. a pencil. I didn't say the quill. <laughs> you don't have pencils back. I was making a joke, back. but we yeah. went with it. So Okay, Kyle, so you, sort of, you run your you hand over it. There's, yeah. You hold it up to, to the sunlight. It doesn't look like there's a great deal you can pick up from it. Right. Um, you know, it, it feels like it's... From the, the parchment feels like it's been written on but there doesn't seem to be enough there to be able to pick up what was written uh roll me a perception check all of you sure. oh, okay i'm gonna, um, gonna tell that to what's Devin. His face what he saw yeah i was wanting to talk to Devin. okay i'm, st I'm still rifling through oh. random shit <laughs> yeah there's not a lot there's not a lot there yeah. to rifle through um uh, jordan out of the corner of your eye you see Devin sort of on his hands and knees um with play, the farmer the, Looking closely at the side of uh, at the side of the chair um, and the the floor. Okay. So I guess I um... actually instead of asking him, can I see if I can tell what he's looking at? Yeah. Do you want to roll me? Do you want to? Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to? Are you investigate? Wow. That is a crit yeah. twenty, my friend. <laughs> okay. So yes, you, it is. You lean back on the on the table. As you do. Um, trying to look cool, but, yeah. but really you're you're eyeing up what um, what Devin's doing, and you see, yeah, um, you see a, a, a residue, a sort of a, I guess a yellowy Ew. type, a yellowy, a yellowy type powder, 
on the floor. Ew. You um, you also, as you look down, you notice maybe just the edges of, of a scorch mark. Um, as you look up at the ceiling, sort of as you're thinking, what could this be? As you look up the ceiling, you see something very similar on the ceiling. Um, roll me an arcana check. Man, getting so many sweet rolls. Let's see how good I do on this one. Nice, and I'm sure I've got an advantage in this one, right? No. So I got just a nine. Um, you think it's you think it's something magical? Yeah, I but prob- yeah, but you don't really know. Not anything you've seen um, before. I, I kind of try and get Ignis's attention because being a succubi figure, maybe he'd be the the one to kind of understand magic. Also, the fact he's a sorcerer probably doesn't hurt. And I just kind yeah. of motion up. And I'm like, I don't want actually anybody else to know more okay. than just our people that I know we can Thanks. trust. Throw me a, <laughs> no, you're there's one, of the one other person here. No worries. Roll me a you're freaking going of... through his underwear drawer right now. I am. Roll me a, roll me a sleight of hand check. Oh, okay. You don't want to know about the toys he's got in this underwear drawer. So naturally, <laughs> with my. I mean, as you're as you're gesturing upwards, uh, Devin sort of stands to his feet and looks plainly at you as you're pointing towards the ceiling. And oh. Devin Devin just looks up at the ceiling as well. Um, that being said, <laughs> he got a crit fail. No. Nope. That being said, he has no idea what you're looking at. I have no idea what <laughs> what kind is doing. Okay. Yeah, Jordan um, is it kind or Kane. 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 Okay. So he, um, yeah, you're all now pretty much apart from, <laughs> apart from 25, he's looking at his pants. Uh, all of you are now looking up at the ceiling. None of you any the wiser what this thing is. You well, just know that there's. I'm there's looking at Kane. Like, what is wrong with you? Oh, I see. That was for understanding his perception. There's a <laughs> slight, slight of hand. So you've got no idea what he's doing. He's just gesturing at you yeah. with a finger, and you're just glaring back at him. Yeah, I'm doing like. I go over and whisper to him what's going on. Roll me a stealth check. Oh, yeah. Do you, uh, <laughs> I said, do I need to roll stealth? Is actually I was about to ask. No, you you kind of on on the the past tell him to look towards the ceiling. Um, as you do, uh, Ignis, roll me some roll me some perception. All right. <laughs> okay, you notice Ten. you notice right. these scorch marks. Just tiny impression of some scorch marks on the. Um, on the ceiling. Roll me some arc- an arcana check. Some arcana. All right. Man, we're so good. You are the worst. Um, <laughs> Twenty-five. You roll me an arcana check. <laughs> At this point, I'm basically laying on the table. I'm leaning back so yeah. hard. Yeah. Could have stopped on arcana. so many numbers. Oh my god, it's not even that bad. It'd be worse. Yeah. 18! How hey. am I going to hit the Arcana check? Okay, so you've <laughs> noticed that his pants aren't magical. Um, <laughs> That's as you, fair. As you put them back down. Um, Ignis, you've, you've seen something like this before. Not necessarily completely, but uh, where, you, where you were brought up, um, there were some magical users who used to visit the establishment, um, and they would use this kind of um you've seen the 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 residue left from a a a portal type um spell that's me no that was that was ignis you were you were looking at his pants yeah they are definitely not not, they are definitely not magic but (laughs) uh, ignis from his from his days of of or his previous life he's seen something like this it's not exactly the same but you've seen i gotta say well tailored not magical Mm. but well tailored (laughs) Yeah, they. I mean, they're they're worn. They've seen a lot of use. But they're such high quality that just you know they're they're lasting. Yeah, I mean, what you find is people in the military tend to to buy sturdier, um, and and more comfortable pants and socks just to make sure, you know, that they don't get blisters in places they don't want blisters. Do you ever want blisters anywhere? Sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Devin is still looking up at the ceiling, kind of looking down at you. Um, I'm I'm looking gonna... a bit. Nice ceiling. I like the dark mahogany. <laughs> did you, I'm gonna did look you... at Devin and say, um. Can I get a lunch? Uh, that's me attempting to lie. Sure. Yeah. Devin, I, um, I've seen marks similar to these. They're, um... I'm glad I kept it secret. 
He uh, he looks yeah. up at the ceiling, still have, having no idea what you're pointing at. You know, he, still, he can't see anything. Um, he just looks like a ceiling to him. But he, um, yeah, where, where, what kind of marks? Um, poop stains Here's... in the underwear drawer. <laughs> I found those. That was magic. Mm -hmm. Well, it does appear that you are um, right about people disappearing. <coughs> that people are legitimately disappearing. Just don't know exactly how or where they're going. What did you find? Appears to be uh, some type of magic involved in really okay. all I can um, tell. At that point, he kind of pulls out one of the chairs and sits down. Um, and he starts sort of rubbing his, his forehead. And you can see that he's, he's thinking back as to, you know, is there any anything that he can link these things up? Um, eventually, he kind of stops and he says um, that um, that um, the only person he knows that um, used to use magic was a, a man called Khan Skinner. Um, he goes on to say that Khan used to live near the village. Um, but was uh, was kicked out, was banished uh, because he turned the Holloway's dog into a frenzied beast that they had to to put down. Um, he he stops and thinks again. He says, "The last time I heard of Karn Skinner, he was up at the uh, the Harbord Mansion, uh, which is uh, out to the east. Um, it's about an hour away, and it's been uh, deserted for years." So Dumbledore's not there anymore. <laughs> Agreed. This Harvard manager, Manor or Mansion, uh, Harry Potter thing. <laughs> no, Hogwarts. No oh, right. Uh, oh, damn it, that was my second choice name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to change the whole story now. For fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he, he tells you that that's the only magic user that he can he can recall that's be, visited the town any time recently as you recall from uh, when you first sort of walked in he mentioned that they don't get a lot of visitors because it's kind of out of the way um because the only trade they tend right. to do is livestock and cattle uh, most of their dealings is done within keeney which is a large gnome city down the uh, down the road gnomes no magic they do anyone has the potential to know magic Yeah, but some more than others. Yep. I mean, Kane, you know magic. You do. Shit. Anyone can. I mean, yeah, I'm an angel. I, my, one of my parents is literally a celestial being, probably. Um, uh, I cast a... Uh, uh, what is that? that I, um, I don't get that yet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> while um, while you guys are, are, are talking amongst yourselves, he holds a finger up and he heads off out of the um, out of the house for a second. Did that man just flip us off. <laughs> I think it was, it was more using a, the wrong finger. finger. <clears throat> it was more a weight rather than a fuck you. Well, obviously something was feeding on the animals, and realized they could start taking humans. Figured out how to do it. Yeah, yeah, unless that, um... Are eating... Well, you said that the guy who got banished turned a dog into a monster. So, if he was testing stuff out with cows, and then wanted some human subjects to test, then... Makes sense. And he's gonna have an army when we get there. True. An army of what, though? I don't know. I'm still slightly suspicious of, the, cows. of the tavern <laughs> because oh. of the whole, I mean, going out of session or out of game. The last session when we played, he yelled out back to that one guy to move the, the shipment or whatever and then came back into place. And I was like, that's oddly suspicious to point that out. But maybe that was just, you know, some world building. But I don't know. That guy was in the middle of talking to us when it happened. 
it's up to you guys where we go from here, uh, except for, I guess he told us to hang on and went outside. At that point, at that point, yeah. Devin returns. Um, he pulls off a, a short bow from his, uh, from his shoulder. It's pretty worn. Doesn't look like it's in the greatest condition and a, a short sword and kind of puts them down on the table and says, this is, this is the best I've got. Got like 50 of these from all the stuff we killed. He kind of shrugs a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We thank you anyway. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, I mean, I'm fine with what I got. Does, uh, I'm guessing this, because I, I have a short bow. It's just a standard short bow. Yeah, I think everything you picked up has been standard. Okay. You know, the, although the, uh, the Crimson Lotus appeared to be uh, relatively well trained in the ones that you saw, you know, you didn't get to see a lot on them, but they, they looked right. like they had... They look like they had a reasonable armor, reasonable weapons. Um, they look like they were maybe not these ones, but they look like a an organization. They look like they were organized rather than just a right. right. Whereas whereas these weapons look like they've been in the town for a number of years, haven't seen mm -hmm. a great deal of action, and are the weapons of the the town's watch. How much right. damage does the short sword do? Isn't it D six? I think it might be. I would I would imagine a D six. And I guess piercing. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I've got it written down somewhere. Because I'll take yeah. it then. Um, but yes, I think it's 1d6. And it's going to be either piercing or slashing. 1d6 piercing. Oh, okay. So there we go. Anything right. else you need just while we're here? I think I'm Weapons good. Weapons-wise, you're all good? Yeah, I'm good as well. I mean, I'm not saying you're going to need them or anything. I just wanted to check your... Uh... No, I got you, but I think I'm good. Okay. Yep. What do you want to do? I've got a great axe. Oh, yeah, you have. That was one D12, I think we said. Yes, yeah, it was. D12 and two-handed. Mm -hmm. Um, Should we check out the mansion? Our only lead, really. Mm -hmm. Or do we want to get close enough to it to see if we see any movement going on in it? Well, I guess we should start making our way there, regardless if we go in or not. True. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, so Devin says it's about, about an hour away uh, to the east. It gives you some directions. Um, he says you can't really miss it when you, again, it's sort of on the, on the crest of a hill. It's a, a one-story building made of, of black stone. Um, but as you sort of said, it's been deserted. It's overgrown. It's been left for, for years. Uh, the old owner used to be a, a military man. Um, but that's pretty much all he, can, all he can tell you. Is that the military right. man is the magic user? No, the, the, old, the old owner, Mr. the Harvard. Before be, the magic user. Yeah. If the magic user's there, yeah, you know the yeah. owner that used to live there before it became empty was a was a quote unquote. Man. What's yeah. uh what's Devin or whatever his last name? Uh, his name is Liverstock. I see. How very English of you. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, you guys making your way there? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, by I this so. by this time, it's uh, midday ish. You know, the sun is blazing down. It's still a pleasant day. You're you're walking towards the um, the mansion. You head down the path to the east, cut off just past the uh, just past the forest where um, Devin told you. And as you begin to approach, you start heading up an, an incline. As you get to the top of the hill, maybe a hundred yards away, there's a a black building. It's um, as he said, it's one story. All you can see from this kind of distance is that it is a stone brick building. Um, all of the windows look like they're they're boarded up. Um, right. There's a lot of tall grass around it, although there is a pathway leading up to it. There's a lot of tall grass where you know, the gardens have, have just continued to grow. It doesn't look like there's much in the way of, of buildings or outhouses in the, around the building. It just looks very much <coughs> like one large large stone house what do you want to do I need to make sure the grass is you know safe I'm sure there's not some weird trap set in there 
poisonous plant, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So you're gonna break out your lawnmower? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mow this guy's lawn, and then he's I'm gonna, gonna be grateful and listen. I'm gonna use my spell Flymo. <laughs> Can I get a landscaping roll for that, please? <laughs> Uh, so what are you doing? You're checking the grass? Yeah, I'm just making sure there's... You said there's like a lot of overgrowth stuff here. So yeah, do you want to like roll, me some, plants. roll me some perception? All of us or just him? If you want to check the grass, yeah, be my guest. I wouldn't be checking the grass. I mean, it sounds like the kind of thing you would do. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Out of character, yes. <laughs> That's uh, 15. Okay. Um, so you, you kind of investigate, you, you kind of coolly look over at the grass cause you don't want to give too much away. Um, it looks yeah. like long grass. It just looks like it's been left to grow. Um, you know, it, it, where it's kind of laid out, it looks like it's in a, a nice, where a nice garden would have once been. Okay. There's a small See, stone wall I'm... around the sides, but, but it's just, grown and grown over the course of <clears throat> i just know if i was ostracized from an entire town for making somebody's pet dog go effing crazy i'd know somebody in that town would probably want to hurt me so i'd put something out there to f with them especially if i was a magic user yeah doesn't um, appear to be anything wrong with the grass okay i'm gonna the path on the other hand no yeah is um <laughs> Is there like some stones on the ground? It's a gravel path leading up to the, the front doorway. So it, it sort of t turns from gravel to dirt, maybe about uh, 50 yards away from the from the property. You're still on the, the gravel part at this moment in time. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick up a, some gravel and um, toss it into the grass. Okay, so you're going to walk up to the gravel, which is another sort of 20 or so foot away from from where you are to, to grab the gravel? Because at the moment, you're still on a dirt path. Oh, well, then I'm going to grab dirt, whatever okay. whatever we're on. Okay, so you scoop down, you grab a, a handful of loose dirt, you turn and throw it into the to the long grass? Yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing happens. Oh, uh, well, these two are playing their reindeer games i'm just headed to the house okay so you walk up um roll me a dexterity yeah no you don't really you don't really have to it's just a, it's just a path that leads up to the house there isn't doesn't look like it's trapped you know you walk up to the door um roll me some glove hits you <laughs> roll yeah. me some perception yeah. 10 total it's a, you know, as I said before, it's a, it's an imposing stone building. As you get close to, you notice uh, iron bars on the on the windows, um, but between the sort of the inside of the windows, looks like they've been boarded up as well. Um, so you can't see into the property as you maybe sort of wander around to the left and the right. It's a fairly straight stone building. Um, it looks like it's well built. It looks like it, you know, at the time when it was built, it looks like it was it was. Uh, you know really nice when it was well kept um but uh, at the same time this person looks like they were security conscious um you wonder if that goes with being a military man maybe or ostracized um, from the town after killing a dog possibly yeah. there's a there's a, a a large oak door um do you want to wander around the whole thing you yeah yeah, kind yeah. of going around the sides as well yeah it doesn't appear to be any other entrances it just appears to be this one one entrance, all of the windows seem to be boarded up, uh, barred up. It looks like this is the only way in and out of the property. So there's, so there's... no back door? No. I'm out. I'm out. If there's no back door on the table, I'm out. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> only if there's a back door on the table. <laughs> yeah. There was one in Brian's house. You. <laughs> That's true. Damn it. <laughs> what are you guys doing? There was the farmer, too. Oh. Um... Um, I'm gonna I'd say you could probably do a maybe an arcana check or something in the building. Maybe see if there's somebody in there. Yeah. Do you have a detect magic or anything like that? Nope. Nice. Uh, uh, what about you? You can uh, so can you um you I can detect my evil, sense right? sense. It's um it's celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet. 
Yeah, mi minus me, of course. Yeah, minus you, because I yeah. definitely know where you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. yeah, I'll go ahead and use Divine Sense. Okay, so you sort of kneel down, you put your hands up to uh, to your, your holy symbol on your on your tucked in your shirt and um it's an upside down cross you sense <laughs> you sense the um the whereabouts of a number of undead um yeah. in fact you detect one two three four five six six undead it's perfectly safe <laughs> no there's uh yeah i tell the i tell the rest of the party what does it sense. does it tell you sort of roughly whereabouts does it give you distances what okay so what it says is as um let's see i know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of me that is not behind total cover i know that but then i know the type but not their exact identity okay so you know that there's undead it um, also detects any place object that has been uh uh like consecrate and all that stuff with like hollow spell and um, yeah okay. i also you, get to add my charisma yeah i mean you sense you sense there's undead um you can't pick up their exact locations what you can tell is that that certainly for the next um 30 foot or so behind this door there doesn't appear to to be any any undead you do sense uh a fiend, but you know that he's standing right beside you. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're not supposed to see it on the map, but right now, are we? No, you're you're uh -huh. still standing outside, looking at the the door. Okay, I didn't know if you had a map for this because when you said no. the store, I didn't know if you were pointing at something. No, okay. you're just you're literally looking at a a door right now. It's okay. You know, as I say, this imposing building with a an oak door. Then yeah, I tell everybody that there are, uh, there are a number of undead present. Hmm. And well, depending on what kind of undead, it could be easy, it could be I would difficult. Assume the kind that are no longer alive. True, but I mean, you, there's different scales of undead. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's like the creatures where you can just hit them with a club and they go down, or and there's other ones that actually fight back. Hopefully it's undead cattle, but something tells me we're not going to be that lucky. Or it's undead people cattle. Man, bear pig. <laughs> um, and that's kind of actually people. more what I imagine, like the zombie pigman type bullcrap, like, you know, some weird... Yeah. Uh, like Frankenstein's monster type deal. Or um, that are like a um, like a melt tank. <laughs> okay, what do you guys want to do? Jesse knows he's muted, right? Nope. No. He now. I did. <laughs> no. <laughs> shall Shall we? Yeah. I point out. I take out my bow. <laughs> I point at the door. Well, best of luck. And I leave. No, I, I, I pull out. <laughs> Sorry, you pull out? Oh, the, yeah. All Just because right. you need a back door on the table doesn't mean I do. <laughs> I pull out the great axe. Okay. All right. I'm going to... Um, I'll go up to the door, and I'll stand on... Um, I'll open it, but I'll um, like be behind the door when I open it, so that okay. 25 can shoot at anything. Okay. And actually, if it's two, um, they're both two light weapons. I'd actually rather dual wield the short sword and the mace. A short okay. sword is a light weapon. I know that. Yeah, and I know the mace is the short sword was the one I wasn't a hundred percent with, but yeah, I figured you could. Okay. So you both, you all get yeah. ready. Um, Ignis, you reach up. You reach up. You turn the handle as quietly as you can. It's locked. They thought of everything. Yeah, of course it is. Well, let's go home. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> We're outclassed. 
I mean, you maybe maybe we could get somebody to open it. Ignis, you're probably the most uh, talented in this one, so maybe you should bang the door. Bang it, <laughs> bang it hard. <laughs> Uh, you know, for being an angel, you're f quite funny. <laughs> and then I'll go and I'll... Is there, like, a knocker on the door? Like, one of these things you reach up high and... No, it... Bang roll on me... It? Roll me some perception. All right. There's a doorbell. <laughs> that or, like, a... There's a doormat, and underneath yeah. the doormat is a knife. Ooh, 18. <laughs> Is a gnome. What's I mean, it's, the the door the door is a, an oak door. It isn't too dissimilar to the right. to the the door that you encountered before. Um, as you push the door, there's a little bit of give. You know, it doesn't for all of this for all of this properties structurally sound defenses and and preparation. So it doesn't look like you know. It looks like this door at once at one point has been pushed open. Um, you um, you also as you're doing that you reach down your hand and as you touch your pocket you feel your lockpick keys uh, or your lockpick tools in your pocket from from the first door you're encountered now I'm you know pretty that... sure um, I let 25 handle that okay so stop feeling his pocket <laughs> <laughs> what so you want you want me to do this? All right, I'll try and pick the lock. I mean, we remember this from the last time. Yeah. Exactly. That that's what I'm saying. All terrible at lock picking. <laughs> um, so that's sleight of hand. Yeah. Eight total. <laughs> you look down, right? You get down on your knees. Yep. And a familiar spot. That's that's a, quite the theme in this episode. <laughs> yeah. You uh, you take the lock pick in your hand. You look at the lock. Your anus. Stare at the lock. <laughs> You've got this. Yeah. And I as do. you as you go to push it forward, it slides gently into the the lock. You're turning <laughs> so slowly, so softly, just trying to find that that trigger point. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, as you do, you turn it. You think you're going to get there. You're almost there. You're about, and then nothing happens. We've all been there. Mm. I mean, I'm amazed you managed to get it in the <laughs> in the hole. In the hole. I yeah. have every time as well. <laughs> all right, uh, 25. You want me to give it a shot? Go for it. All right. Ooh, 18 again. Okay. This is um. You get down, you get down, you look at you look at 25 doing it, you kind of laugh a little bit to yourself. Um, knowing that you've struggled with this before and feeling like this is going to be a waste of time, you get down on your hands and knees. Yeah, you, you look into the lock. <laughs> you, uh, you slowly ease the, ease the lock pick in. Um, you kind of, you, you feel like this is going to be a completely fruitless task. You're kind of just wiggling it in there just for the, for the sake of it. <laughs> As you hear a click right. as the door lock and undoes. Great. Right, well, work. I got it. Right. Uh, 25. You want to get ready with that bow? I'm ready with my bow. All right. I'm going to do a countdown with my fingers. No, just do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna. Yeah, then I'm just gonna pull the door open. Okay. You There's pull the door. Pushed open. You pull the door, yeah. it just bashes into the door frame. Okay, you push the door open. <laughs> As you do, the, the door <laughs> opens up. The only light that is in, is, is in this room is coming from the doorway behind you. As it does, opens up. It's a dusty room. You spot. Um, you spot some ta uh, some chairs in front of you. Um, you spot a uh, an, uh, uh, fireplace to the left. Um, a large door at the back of the room. 
You also spot um, four large statues um, oh. all facing each other either side of the room. There's a chest uh, to the left and the right of, of those statues in the, in the f- left side of the room uh, over, over here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Yeah, it's in the top on um, top left corner. All right, so there's two chests, four statues, table. Yep, statues. So there's a couch. Two, there's a couch and some some chairs. Okay. The, the fireplace looks like it's alight, but it's it's definitely out. There are some torches dotted around. They're all out, but there's some torches on the walls. Okay. Those chairs are they different colored, like in the game, or is that yep. just aesthetic? They're different. They're different. They're, they're different colors. They're all different colors, apart from the two that are the same color. Any, any, just are the are the statues the same thing or are they different things? Roll me some perception, or are you actually going up and looking at the statues, or are you just kind of standing from afar? Well, that would be both, but I'm, I'm kind of, I haven't gone into the room that far yet. Okay, so you're kind of just invest, you're you're I'm checking out the room. Of, yeah, yeah. Roll me some perception. Eight. Okay. From I mean, from here I'm in the dark. Over ten today. From here in the dark, <laughs> the dark like you um, you notice that the, the statues all look to be military esque. Okay. They look but they're like not men. like the same exact thing. No, they look like men in armor. They they all look to be in the same pose, uh, which is uh, a, a military man with his arms down by his sides. Um, as you look, you notice that one of the hands looks like it it should be holding something. Um. That's about it. That's all you all you see. <laughs> now when you say this should be nope. holding something yep <laughs> it's a sword exactly you need another team member what person <laughs> <laughs> what's the positioning of that um, alright is there looking around quick does it look like there's anything that would go in the dude's hand besides what mother nature gave to me I mean that okay. hand's a big hand um, no, it, as you look around, you can't see anything. You know, there's nothing obvious. Oh. There's, there's some chairs. Fair enough. And some chests. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Oh. Um. Okay. This is one of those times an arcana check might be good, because uh, So the, the other three... Magic traps. All right, you say one of them looks like they should be holding something, but isn't. Are the other three holding things, or from are they just... From where you're standing, you can only really see a couple of them properly. Um, both of those look like they should be holding, could be holding something. And they're not? They're not. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go around to each of them and see if that's a common theme. Okay. Roll me investigation. Thirteen, moving on up, double digits. There you go. You um, you wander around. You're investigating. They're dusty. They're you know they're they look a bit. They look like they're they've they were well kept to a point, and then sort of wear and tear of of like the the dust and that sits on them. Um, as you look at the hand, certainly looks like there was there's something that should slot into that to that hand. Um, as you uh, as you sort of hold it, you feel there's a little bit of movement in the right arm. Not movement of its own accord, movement from you moving it. But there is a possibility. It's built to move. Yeah. Um, also, a side note, I can't control my character. Okay. Not, not a huge deal. But... Unlucky, Kentucky. Yeah. We... I got mine leaning against a wall. <laughs> Try now, my there friend. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. What are, you, what are the other guys doing? Uh, I guess I'm going to just very aggressively, without doing any checks whatsoever, try and open this chest that I'm by. Okay. Yeah. So you open have... it. You open huh? it. There's, there's nothing in this chest. Just Excellent. an old, dark, dusty chest. That way you got one more chest. Looks like you got this one, Ignis. 
Sure, I'm gonna go up to the chest. Okay. I'm gonna um go and check it for like traps. Okay. Roll me some. Is it perception? Is that a tra tra trap checking? I uh, believe hand? so. Uh, Investigation. Yeah, that depends on Which what one is you're it? looking for. Yeah. He's looking for traps around a chest. Just roll me some perception. All right. You're and then for... uh, Arcana if it's magical trap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it appears to be a chest that doesn't look like it's trapped. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, a I know if you're like, it's covered in traps. Yeah. <laughs> it is a... I don't know. It's a trap yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... It's also it. a mimic. Okay. <laughs> as, you, as you reach down, you flick the, uh, the little bu buckle at the front. You put your hands on the side quite gingerly, lift the lid of the chest up. Uh, nothing yep. happens. You look inside. There's four fairly ornate swords in the chest hmm. um white handle long you know long blade they all look identical well, those are obviously for us to use as weapons to fight bad guys nothing else so um how how good are you guys <laughs> at puzzles because i think we got one yeah i think we figured it out already but yeah I, I, but I think the only person that can really say what to do is 25 because he's the only one that's examined the statues and he didn't tell us anything. No, I definitely did not. Um, <laughs> this uh, fireplace, you said mm -hmm. it's it's not lit, but mm -hmm. it's it's like lit. No, it's not lit, but it looks lit in the, in the picture because I didn't have an unlit fireplace. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. it's not even like... <laughs> it's I thought you it's meant a fireplace light. that has, has burnt out long ago. Okay, um, I, I want to look inside the fireplace, see if there's any, like, anything that shouldn't be there, or... I want to kick him in and light it for him being a murderer. There you go. <laughs> Roll me <I'm> investigation. <laughs> uh, 22 total. Okay. You, you peer your head in, you look up, it's pitch black. Um, I have superior dark vision. I can see yeah. up to 120 feet in pitch yeah. black. And you, you, it's pitch black, and as your eyes focus, it looks like a chimney. You know, it looks like a chimney that has been burnt out quite a, a few times. So um, there's, there's also no like buttons or. Are you gonna reach up secret and secret alcoves or reach up and wiggle your hand around a little bit? I mean, I wouldn't feel around reach what's up. inside. I'm reaching more back and like. Okay, so you reach back, you push the the stones, nothing happens. Nothing. Right. It just looks like a fireplace. Glad I wasted my 19 on that. <laughs> Maybe you should climb up there and see if it's another way in or out. I could. Interestingly, you don't spot any light coming in from the... the... Yeah, so there's only one way, so... Yeah. That or unless the chimney curves. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's fused with a laundry chute. <laughs> No, I have a friend whose chimney is like that. It um, it goes up, it curves, then goes up again, and then curves back. Oh, I know what you're talking and then about. Then goes up. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a bong. <laughs> no, bong is a... <laughs> not a bong. <laughs> <laughs> that is... hey, yeah. Not for nothing. <laughs> Fireplace would make a great bong. Yeah. Well, twenty five <laughs> is uh climbing in the uh <clears throat> climbing in the old fireplace. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and start examining the statues myself as well. Yeah. I'm okay. going to pull the swords out. Okay. And so you pick up the swords. And lay them on the on the floor. Okay. So yeah, put, lucky me. I got a one. As you put the swords Is down. a statue in here? You're not convinced they're statues. You think they're real people. <laughs> um, no, you walk over. You don't really notice anything. They look like statues. They, you know, that's that's it. Yeah. Uh, as you as you do walk over there, you look at the door, solid solid steel. Um, no keyhole, no mechanism. And see, so only there's only one way in or out of this. Well, there's, room? there's two ways in and out of the room. One of them is shut. The right, that's right, the far door. Yeah. All right. Well, twenty five. You should finish this puzzle since you're the one that knows the, the, what's going on. Finish this puzzle. Uh, what do you guys think these um? <laughs> swords are used for i found four of them in this chest yeah. 25 what could you think that these empty handed <laughs> statues i i mentioned that it looks like these statues <laughs> have empty hands maybe they go in there right 
Scott, are the swords all the same size? Yeah, they're all identical. All right. Throw me one. <laughs> Blade first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I'll kick one across the ground. I'll be a good friend and throw him too. Roll me a <laughs> dexterity check as the sword rotates <laughs> across the floor towards your ankles. So I is take... it a dex save? Or... No, I'm, jo I'm joking. He slides <laughs> the sword across the floor. It yeah. stops at your foot. Because, I mean, that I can make. Yeah, he totally can with that one. <laughs> your legs are cut totally. off and yeah. you die. <laughs> I'm bleeding out on the floor. You no, land. Gonna... <laughs> you, as your legs get, your ankles get cut off. You lean forward and push a button on the fireplace, which lights it. Which so like somehow... it. <laughs> and somehow you get pushed into it. Also, you're poisoned. And I need to. <laughs> and then a beholder appears um, <laughs> from the fire, I'm putting a sword in the hand of the dude I'm. I'm at. Okay. Well. So you is, you slide the the sword sort of yeah. facing outwards, slowly. I take it, I take it yeah. it's facing towards you, the blade. Yes. Okay. You slowly slide the the handle into the slowly and sensually. Yeah, right? into I the hand. You get this right. It's it's a tight fit. Yeah, it it's is. Tweet. It's tweet. Um, like and a as tiger. It, as it slides in, you hear a a, a click. I don't know, Jesse. Is a tiger usually a tight fit for you? Point like a tiger. Never mind. <laughs> I don't. It's an awesome powers reference. Yeah, I don't know if I, 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 I got it. Okay. I got it. <laughs> um, guys, I heard a click. Try it with them. Oh. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to do the same thing with the statue that's closest to me. Okay, yeah, you slide I... the you slide the sword in. Yeah. Click. I grab one and bring it down. Meow. I, I kind of get towards the middle of the room. I'll bring the other sword and put it in the other statue. No, idiot. The Sorry. fireplace is what has to move. Sorry, so you're walking over the rug. What rug? The white the thing. The one right in the center. Oh, that's a, that I, see, table. I, I thought it was a table, so I've been sticking around it. No, I'm more yeah. kind of near the couch, <laughs> like in the in this corner. Of, okay. Okay. The the that's a rug. Yeah, that's a rug. Where he hosted his book club. Jesus, <laughs> that's where he ate dinner. I was like, "What's your couch?" For the record, table? if it is a rug, then yes, I would have passed over it because I would have. I didn't go around it. Okay, I'm not like looking yeah. for you, I go around step... and I climb onto the couch and step over it. <laughs> as you step on the rug, nothing happens. Um, you slide. <laughs> you slide. Jordan, you slide. You slide the the yeah. third sword into the the statue. I take it. Yeah. So click. Yeah, I'm going to do the last one. Okay. So as you slide the uh, the sword in, there's a fourth click. Okay. Nothing and appears to happen. Place. Nothing appears to happen. Okay. We need to light the fireplace. I motion to the fireplace to him. Sure, I can do that. Um, uh, as I'm doing that, I want to. I'm guessing this over to the right is the. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check out that door. Okay. Door. You roll me some investigation and. <clears throat> and I get a ten. Okay. As we you... are so good at rolls. Yeah, we are. Holy if you're shit. checking out the door, yeah. as, as I said before, there's no. Um, there's no. It's obvious flat. markings on the door. There's no keyhole. There's no handle. Uh, is someone lighting the fire or yeah i can um i can use press a digitation there's not real fire out of character yeah to light a is there any logs in the fireplace there's there's a you know it's been it's been burnt mostly i you know it, you feel like you could <laughs> yeah. maybe light it slightly but there are some torches around the rooms as well yeah i'll um light a torch and and, okay. and chuck it in there so as you as you light the torch, um, the room illuminates, and as it does, um, above the door, actually, while you're investigating, you see this glowing um, gold inscription that just says the word "honor" written above the uh, the door. Um, you light the fire; nothing happens, but some light appears in the room. 
guys, I can't read, no. so um, no. <laughs> it's already I've, a list of things I don't have. I, I, I wouldn't mention it. I don't see why I would mention it. So um, Scott, the um, iron door that's to our left. Mm -hmm. Does that have a handle to it at all? No, no. nothing. It's just a straight on, straight old door. It does have the word mm -hmm. honor above it? That's to the right, I said. One to the left. Or is that the oh, way we came in? The door you came in? Yeah, yeah it's, it's open. It's the door that you opened. All right. And as I say, there's sunlight beaming in through that room, but because of where the, the light was coming in, the anger was coming in, you couldn't see the inscription until right. there was more light in the room. And Maybe because of should... the... Right. And just because of the, the, the sort of the inscription, the way it's written, it needed some, some light to, to show you. Yeah, I'm gonna should use that torch to light everything else in this room so we can really see everything. I'm gonna take a deep sigh and just sit in this uh, nice chair in this corner. Right okay. There. Okay, you sit down. There's a click. No, nothing happens. It just you <laughs> sit down on a chair. It's a nice, comfortable chair. You know, you you feel like right. whoever lived here yeah. had some had some cash. There's a click. It's a sign that you need to go on a diet. Yeah. The leg <laughs> the leg breaks. You fall yeah. off. <laughs> Take two damage. Roll me some perception. All Jesse. of this? Or... Uh, no, Jesse, you guys, uh, what are you guys doing? I perceive the shit out of it, yo. <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, you oh, know, the, yeah. the glories of failed. being a dungeon master. I crit failed. Yeah, when you, you wonder that the fire is, is burning brighter than you thought it would. Um, but then you realize that um, Ignis set it alight, and that's the reason it's on fire. <laughs> Wait, guys, did you? Uh, oh. What are the other two doing? Um, I still suggest to Ignis maybe light up the rest of the room. So even if it doesn't open, plus the fireplace, because even if it doesn't open anything, maybe we can see anything else that could be hidden in here. Sure, I'll go in on. Also, like... just for safety's sake, I try and say the word honor in front of the door. Okay, so you march up to the door, you stand right in front of it, still trying to keep that cool, uh, calm. Try. So, <laughs> no, it just, it's natural. Okay, you stand, in, you stand in front of the door and you say, honor, and nothing happens. As you say that, you hear 25 giggle a little bit behind you, kind of chuckle to himself. Like he wouldn't be that stupid. Roll my eyes. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not um, gonna I'm gonna sword they roll. Him. I'm lighting the rest of the um, torches. Okay, so you walk around, you write the rest of the torches. Everybody, mm -hmm. roll me some perception. Noish. One d twenty. I got. We are amazing. You rolled a we two. We really three. are. When we get into combat, we're dead. And you rolled a four. Uh, no, when we get in combat, we're gonna do great. Woo, we're counting. Uh, yep. Um, as you. <laughs> As you walk around, um, none of you really you spot realize anything. You are blind. None yeah. of you really spot anything. However, twenty-five. As you're sitting on the on the couch, you remember something from your past, something that might have been important. Uh, you remember that the arms of the statues moved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, I mean, he's the only one that knows it. None of us have heard this. Yeah, that's why he remembered it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, luckily. Uh, yeah. All right, head to one of those statues and try. Now, is this a sword arm or the other one? They're the sword arm. Um, I'll try and move it to an up position. Okay, so you lift the arm up, and it hands out, stands out rigid up, up, sort of a, a just over a ninety degree angle. That's hot. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so uh, so is it kind of like up to where it's holding the sword up, like uh, like you would see? All right, at, at like a military wedding when they're like a, the... you mean like a guard of honor? Sure. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, a little bit like that. Yeah. All right. They're pointing like diagonal. I'm just kind of. I I don't want to let on that I might have figured something out, so I'm just kind of casually. Wandering around the room. Okay, so oh, you don't have to convince us. I'm convinced you're stupid. Yeah, can, can, you're fair. still as you as you think that to yourself. You're still staring at a steel door. Yeah, um, <laughs> that you're, you've just been talking to. Um, honor, 
no. I only said it Ignis, the one time. Ignis, you're you're still looking at the statues. You can't really notice any. It looks like a statue. I'm um I'm looking at twenty five playing with a bunch of huge dolls right now. Okay. Pretty much. Twenty five. You yeah. walk over, lift the lift the second arm up. I assume. Yes. As you lift it up, it kind of clicks into to place. I'm not even letting on there's anything that I'm doing. No. I'm just cat. I'm like touching random little. I mean, you don't have to. We all like... see you walking around the room. Okay. <laughs> cool. Ignis said he's like visibly watching and monitoring you. I'm, I'm gonna. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to to Kane and say, "I think there's something wrong with 25." He yeah, must be playing with the statues. He says, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, I only no. said it the one time. <laughs> He's trying it in different languages that he knows. <laughs> like, Guys, what's the draconious word for... Okay, so I assume you wander around. You yeah, walk up to the I last, had all four. You walk up to the last statue. As you reach it up to a, a fully upright sort of position, it clicks in place and the door <laughs> gently opens. As it does, um... guys, I did it. <laughs> it, it was it coincides. Honor in celestial. Yeah, it coincides with <laughs> Kane saying honor. Um, <laughs> as it opens up, you spot a long hallway. The light from this room now <coughs> lights the room in front of you. Uh, you spot four doors to your left and your right, and one door to the end. They look. You'll be pleased to know they look like normal doors. Um, roll me some perception. 20. A million. Nine. Yeah, minus okay. 19. You, from this corridor, you hear faint murmurs. Sort of a, a guttural sort of groan, almost. Careful, guys, there's creepers in there. Oh, I remember Scooby Doo. It was Old Man Jenkins. Yeah, he totally wasn't doing um kids. No, <laughs> He's doing some um <laughs> transmutation stuff with people and animals. I totally start doing like kick-ass seal hand signals that not a single person <laughs> understand. <laughs> Is it yeah. seal? Oh, I, I thought can, you meant I, like I thought you were seeing a kiss from a rose. I have a giant ball on my nose. No, like Navy SEAL, like... Okay. That no one understands. Especially since that wasn't Navy SEAL. But okay. <laughs> Give me your Navy SEAL uh, motion. Yeah. Okay. Passcodes. Yeah, Jesse, you, you asked the wrong guy to, to, to do that. Scott got it down. Um, What are you guys doing? Told you what I'm doing. Oh, you got a you got a twenty as well, didn't you? You think it's coming from the right side of this of this corridor? I'm I'm like motioning to the right side, and do they all understand my my kick ass? You, you pointing? Codes. Yeah, probably. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know what pointing means. <laughs> yep, same. You can you know just point. You don't have to. Act like you're going crazy. We also have the ability to hear. Yep, that too. But so do they. I am the knight. No. That's the edgy voice you should go for. I've never dropped it. It's just like the whole time. <laughs> time to go. Please don't. <laughs> yes. I... No, I mean, that's my voice for the next character you'll meet. But... <laughs> oh. You're hey, so familiar. Maybe... Yeah, maybe they're brothers. <laughs> I've got my bow ready, and I'm kind of hanging in the back behind them, waiting for one of them to head forward into further into the domicile. I don't trust the murderer behind us. He's there, though. I'm I'm right behind you. That's he fine. Was... I'm waiting for you to continue. As I lean coolly against the wall. <laughs> I could be there for hours. <laughs> More hand motions. <laughs> so
Scott, I'm gonna pick up um one of the torches. Okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> Jordan just popped into view. <laughs> for me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take one of the torches and um, gonna toss it down the hallway. See what. See if it stirs up anything. <laughs> okay, so you throw the torch down the hallway. It clatters on the stone floor. Bounces once, slides along the the floor. Nothing seems to happen there. It doesn't no one seems you don't seem to hear anything, see anything. I'll sigh, lower my bow, walk up, kind of down pathway a little bit. Kind of. So these doors are closed. All the doors are closed. They none of them appear to have locks on. <clears throat> They're plain wooden doors. Um, there's one to your left, one to your right, and then a little bit further down the corridor, another couple, and then another door at the end of the hallway. All right, and it sounded like you said it sounded like it was coming from the right-hand side. The, the noise you heard sounded like it was coming from the right side of this corridor. Okay, so, so I'm going to post up like across the hall from the first door on the right-hand side. Okay. And yep. kind of do a head motion. Wow. No, I'm nice enough to move in behind 25 at least. I'm not going to just stay there and let him. Yeah. Like, I have my bow trained on the door, ready for someone to open it and see what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Okay. I, fine, I'll reach over. Is it like right here, bias? It's, yep. it, it would be this it's side. Just, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just there. But... Then, yeah, I just kind of rip the door open, but stay over against the wall and let him peer in there. Okay. Okay. As you. I'm getting the tunnel of vision, so I'm actually looking in to pie the room okay. SWAT style. So as you pull the door, it does put open outwards. As you pull the door, you see standing in front of you. Um, two appear to be undead humanoids. Um, they're sort of wow, Luke Skywalker lumbering, <laughs> lumbering uh, in the room. They, they don't seem to have noticed that, you know, for you pulling the door open, they don't seem to have, have noticed. Um, what are you doing? One has a lightsaber. One's got one robotic hand. <laughs> um, and it smells like ton ton guts. I'm I'm assuming they can see, like, the door opened towards this, yeah, the, the right. This, so. because, because the door was open so quickly, they haven't they haven't. No, reacted. but I'm saying, like, I, it, it's obvious that they can see in and see what is, like, I don't have to go, hey, zombie. No, they're all standing close enough. I mean, um, from Kane's angle, he can only see this one. Okay. At this moment in time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and I could see both from there and Kart. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean it's a tight angle for for Ignis, but he can sort of see half of the. All right, so I kind of want to like do it, like flash a little two symbol in my hand to kind of say that I see two, and then I guess I'm firing at at that one, I suppose. Okay. Uh Go for it. Okay. Surprise round for you and for Ignis and <coughs> and for and for Kane. Uh nineteen total. That hits. Woohoo. Nice. And that is nine damage straight to the dome piece. Okay. This arrow smacks straight in the back of the, the zombie's head, causing it to, to sort of stumble forward. Um as at that point it sort of turns to 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 see what's what what it was obviously can't see the back of its head so it sort of <laughs> turns around catches catches your eye you know i'm throw a dagger at it okay so you oh. throw your dagger as you do it flies past the zombie who was still stumbling from from the previous previous hit and it sort of just whizzes past its past its face mm. Okay, what are you doing? Yep. Um, can I hold my action and just kind of be in like Overwatch to where, like, if something tries to come through the door, then I slash into them with my. Yeah, I mean, this is a surprise round, but uh, we can carry that over into the next round. I I did do it. Do you, we don't get movement or anything in surprise rounds? No, we? it's just that initial. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, see, that's why I was going to just say if they come rushing through or anything, I was going to. Okay. So everybody roll initiative. Yep.
Plus with my um my sweet stat for dexterity, it's probably a good thing I didn't try and fire a bow with him. Hey, I finally got a no right roll. Yay. Thanks to dexterity, it goes down though. It's eighteen. Good job. Same that I got. Eighteen. Sounds better than a three. I got a higher natural roll than you, loser. Yeah, you did. What did you get? Ignis, right. three. Three, yeah. Okay. So the, uh, the zombies actually react quicker than you guys. <laughs> um, and this, The one that's been hit turns and, and walks through the door as it does. Um, Kane, you get a, an attack? Yes. Have you holding your action? Man, I'm awesome. Let's see. So that that's four. Beautiful. I mean, total, that's nine. Okay. That, Take um, this. that hits. I think the lowest oh, wow. hits. Wow. As, as this zombie steps into the light, you realize that this, is, this has been decaying in this room for quite some time. Okay. Um, as, he, as he comes, shuffles closer so we can see it, I look over at Kane and I'm like, Friends of yours? No. <laughs> Targets of yours? And then I stab it and do the one damage. Do I also get my bonus action, or does that not count on? Not on a surprise round. Okay. Um. Then yeah, I did one damage to it. You didn't add. You got to. You have no strength. Oh uh, yeah, plus three, four. Okay, um, it's still standing. You know, the sword sinks into it as it does. Sort of some of the flesh kind of peels open. Nothing seems to be inside other than dead, dead, you know, flesh and guts. It sort of some of it kind of falls on the floor. Um, it carries on making its <laughs> movement towards you. Um, um, 25 and. Yeah. You're the first. You're the first. It saw, and it's going to oh, make yeah, an attack it, an attack at you. Okay. That's a eleven. That would not hit. Okay, so it lunges forward, swings its, swings its lumbering, sort of bony, skeletal, almost hand towards you. You just sort of pull your head back out of the way. Um, the other undead kind of walks through the door, lumbering, turns and. Walks towards you, and is also going to make a an attack at you. And that one is a fifteen. That does hit, though. Okay, you take three points of damage as this hand, this undead hand, scratches <laughs> right across, right across your face, down a little bit, your neck. Um, Ooh, so central. Yeah, it doesn't sort of really pierce the skin. You feel a, a graze sort of down your skin, but it hurts. It stings. That does sting a little bit. You said three? At three, yep. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, Kane or 25? You're up. You both got the same initiative. The, he got the highest natural. Yeah. You, two, yeah. you two can, if you get the same, you two can decide. I'm fine going first. I'm going to just Go attack the same person, so then hopefully he'll be able to turn and fight the other one. Okay. I can finish this one off. Uh, 11 plus 3 plus 2. That hits. Yeah. Um, this plus 3. 9. Nice. Okay. nice. You swing your sword into the, the back of the neck. The zombie just cleaves straight through it. The head falls to the floor. The body falls slowly to the floor. Dead. Neat. Then with my mace, can I move up one and then swing at Mark Hamill? Yeah. Nice. Okay, and I don't get any of the bonuses for this one except for proficiency. I don't remember what bonus actions work with fighting. Um, I think you get your proficiency with a weapon then. Either way, it hits. If that was I your I think role. you do. Um, yeah. You don't add yeah. the modifiers to it, the damage modifiers. Okay. Either way, that, that hits. Well, there's another six. Okay. Nice. It's like crack him in the skull with my freaking mace. 25. All right, I'm going to. Disengage with a little nice little five foot step this way. I grab him and throw him back to where he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and take a shot at Mark Hamill. Okay. Let's hope the force is not strong with him. Um, ten total. Hits. 
Oh shit. These guys are easy. A uh, five total. Okay. It's two undead. Yeah. Okay, you hit him you hit him square in the chest. He takes it. He's still standing. Hell yeah. Look, he looks like Sonic now. <laughs> uh, Ignis, you're up. He has arrows yeah. in his chest. Does the he hedgehogs have those? Um, yeah, there's some I'm... decayed flesh on the face. Um, you, know, you can see down to the bone and an arrow in his chest. That's what I think when I see Sonic. Uh, the gonna zombie's going to go fast. Fire a bolt on him. Okay. I'll fix the thing in a second. Um, need to make a ranged spell attack. Okay. And uh, it hits, it's 1d10. Okay. So you pull your hands forward, you start to conjure a firebolt in your hands, you unleash it towards the target, and it hits it square in the chest. Right, and it does. Seven damage. Okay, as your firebolt hits it, it fires it backwards down the down the stone floor. As it falls to the floor, it maybe slides for a, about, about five foot just along the floor as it crumples to the floor, Ooh. seemingly dead. Dead. Good choice of words. <laughs> seemingly dead. Uh, Pretty dead. <laughs> okay. Top of initiative, or are we out? Yeah, mm -hmm. you, well, th there doesn't seem to be any other targets from what you can see in the room. Okay. Uh, I'd like to give a little search of the room, see if there's okay. anything we could use or whatnot. Okay. I'm going to go and pick up my dagger. Okay. So as you. Um... And I'm just going to check the zombies to see if they had anything on them. Okay, so as you walk into the room, um, 25, it looks like some sleeping quarters, maybe for people who you know, used to take care of the house or, you know, servants. Um, doesn't... I, look, I look back all seriously. It's a kitchen. I got a one on my wall. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, you can still tell that it's a bedroom. Yeah. Even you can tell it's a bedroom. Uh, however, there is some food on the side, so I can see why you might have got some... Yeah, some it's odd a ideas. confusing area. Right? <laughs> um, it's dusty. It's dirty. Um, Ignis, you pull your dagger out of the wall where it was stuck. Um, doesn't seem to be anything in here. Doesn't seem to be many personal possessions. Uh, you know, just a few bits and pieces of clothes lying around. Can't find anything valuable from your from your looking. Um, Kane, do you want to make me a, a perception check or investigation as you search the bodies? Yep. Man, I'm amazing. Best roller ever. Holy okay. crap, balls and cheese. They wow. should pay me to do this. They're dead. Yeah. <laughs> they they I, have... I yeah. Figure that one out. They Can have... They have, they, back? <laughs> they have dirty clothes. Don't seem to have anything else. Okay. Just just dead. Dead, 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 deadness. Really? They're a bit That's soft good. and squishy. Hey, Agnes, you might want... Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> but not moist. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I <ignore you. laughs> All right, um, I'm going to head to this door and kind of put my ear to it, see if I hear anything on the other side. Okay, make me a perception rarel. I suppose. Uh, 22. Okay, you put your ear to the door. Um, as you do, it's the like door... It's a scary movie and the penis sticks through into your head. <laughs> as, the door, uh, the, as you do, lean on the door, the door kind of just pushed forward. You don't hear anything. But it pushes. Yeah, it just open, opens up. Actually, have you kind of stand deadly still because you're worried and then nothing seems to happen. As you do, as you do push it, light floods into the room. You can see that this actually looks like a kitchen. Um, you see uh, pots and pans hanging from the ceiling. You see uh, blood on the, on the sides, a little bit on the floor. Um, roll me some investigation. Yeah, yeah, so that's one, one bloody it's a kitchen. kitchen. It's a kitchen. It's a bit messy. It looks like it's been used, but everything in here is dirty, dusty, moldy. It's not been used for a number of years. I nod and yell, clear. Head back out. Okay. 
I don't listen to him because he's an idiot. <laughs> you have no proof of that. I want to go ahead and peek in there. In the kitchen. Uh, the area that he thought's clear. Okay. That's okay. a bedroom. Yeah. Roll me some perception. <laughs> sure, I'll get another one as well. Oh, five. There we go. Making the big ones. It looks clear. Mine. It does uh, look clear. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a total of seven. Okay. Still looks clear. No, I know. It's telling Jesse. <laughs> Much better than mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to put my ear to this door. Which one? The one on the left? Yes, sir. Okay. You put your ear to the door. Roll me some perception. <clears throat> 21. Okay. From putting your left ear to the to the door and listening, you don't hear anything coming from this room. You do sense noise or movement coming from the the room at the end of the corridor. So there's a there's a door down there's this a door, side as well. Yeah, there's a yeah. there's a door here, All right. and there's a door here. I don't there's know how much one you more here. The, I don't know how much you can see of it, but all right. Yeah. Um, then there's I'll since down there. Since there's nothing, I'll push open the, the door. Okay. If you do the light from the torch that um, Ignis has slid down the floor, lights up the room. Uh, roll me some perception. 14. Okay. As you step into the room, it yeah, lights up. Lights up. It looks like a study. There's some empty vials on the tables in front of you. Um, to the right, there looks like another uh, desk with a, looks like a journal on. Uh, there's a few sort of maps when you uh, when you approach the table at the back of the room looks like there's lots of paper with sort of scribbles and and formulas uh, written down um you know, like someone's been beautiful minding it a little bit is that um, the is that the same writing that's in the journal or is 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 there actually like... me some investigation <laughs> and what room is this this is the room to the to the North, Soft this, one, this one here. So the area it's still black. Okay. Oh, can you yeah. can yeah. you not see it yet? Sorry. No, 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 yet. not yet. Oh, uh, twenty-one total, by the way. There you go. Oh, Sorry. There it is. Yep, there um, <laughs> okay. So as you look, black it, line across the screen. <laughs> it appears it appears to be uh, the same writing. Um, is it now the journal is is all, what you call it? Um. Like equations and stuff like that, or no, is it no. Like... On the on the table to the far end, there seems to be large sheets of paper with large equations, large formula. It looks like is is written down. Uh, the journal appears to be in in common. What uh, what's on the open page of the journal? What's what's um, it say? Well, how do I share this with you? I, I, think, I think hopefully a window may have popped up, maybe. In our notes? Yeah, in our journal. Yeah, maybe. Nothing yet. Yeah, nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. That should be share and make it where all Okay, here we go. Be. Here we go. I'll share it with, hopefully, with 25. I got it. I got it. Um, I'll, um, all right, before I get too into it, I'll call them over. Let them read, too, so I don't okay. have to. So you guys are all peering over. Have the, to read it. Yeah. So you guys are peering over his <laughs> yeah. shoulder, reading the same. Um, Oops. <laughs> same book. Ah, oh, there it is. Kern's journal. Should we? Yeah. Should we break real quick, and we could take time to read this and stuff, and if you like. This see, this always seems like stuff we should leave in the video because we always want to read it away. But why not keep it in there so the people know what we find out? Are you gonna read it out loud? No, Jesse, you are. You're the one that found it. <laughs> he does have you there. <laughs> I don't mind reading it if you want. It's up to you. Okay, so it looks like it's it's it's, it's taken from. So as you're flicking through, you're not reading the whole thing. Sort of, it looks like it's been his journal for a number of years. Um, mm -hmm. First one is forty odd years ago. It says he killed her. He killed her. He killed Louisa. I oh, will I get my revenge. Sad. I will get my revenge. Damn you, Aaron Nyhold. Um, that little bit's for me. Just so you know. Um, I will bring. I will bring my Louisa back. I will make you pay just because she loved me and not you. Um, then it goes forward maybe 10 years. They found out about my testing on humans. They kicked me out of the university. I must leave the city. I will bring Louisa back. I just need more time. They will pay for what they've done. 20 years ago, 
It was him. He did it. Why did he do it? Just because she said no. I will make him pay for what he's done. The serum, sh serum is showing signs of improvement. It's bringing the dead back. They are just not who they used to be. The freshness of the corpse seems to make a difference. Uh, goes on to 10 years ago. Uh, I'm so close. I can feel it. I've had to move on again. The people of Wolf, Wolf Pine started to get suspicious. I can't get caught. My work is too important. Louisa is too important. If a live creature do drinks the serum, it turns into a vicious beast before they suffer massive organ failure as the Holloway's dog found out. Maybe I can use it on the, on the Nightbold. Sorry, this on Nightbold. Seems a fitting way to go. People will finally see the beast he is. I, can keep, I can't keep moving. I will stick close to the town, but we'll test on livestock until I'm confident. One month ago. I think I have it. Either way, it won't be, it won't be too long before I see Louisa again. All my life's work, and this is my last chance to prove myself and the, to the world that I can do this. I keep having this dream that Louisa is asking me to come to her. I tell her that soon she will be able to come to me and she breaks down in tears. I plan to complete a real test of the serum tonight on a human three weeks ago. The tests are better. The results, sorry, the tests are better than before, but something's still not right. There seems to be uh, that I've been using the empty rooms in the mansion for these tests. I made viewing holes so I don't have to restrain them. I tend to watch from the study. I accidentally brought back the dog of, with Elna, so I figured why not test on that too? No success so far, but I think I'm close. One day ago, this is my last chance. I can't go on. I've hired an assassin to sneak the serum into Erin's meal. The assassin should, said there was a banquet happening in three weeks in Israel where, and that he would infiltrate and administer the serum into a drink. I wish I could see the council's face when he turns into that foul beast. The ignoranus Brian from the town, watch, was here picking flowers for that girl he likes. He has no chance. I will put him out of his misery and prove the serum works once and for all. Then I will be with you, Louisa. Oh, Amen. Um, yep. This guy's really he, starting to get consistent with his journal. I mean, before, I don't even know how I remember where this thing was after the 40 years of only writing it at once per decade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there was other bits in there, but you probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can fill it yeah. in if you like. Okay. Tuesday, picked up my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear all 40 years worth. <laughs> Um, so does this room look like, this room looks like a study, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I want to look around for these, uh, viewing holes. Okay. So, um, as you look up, there's a giant dog. No, as you, as you <laughs> peer in front of you, uh, you see, for you. you see, a, you see a hole literally right in front of your face. Um, what do I see in there? Okay. Um, roll me some perception. Thirteen. Okay, you with your dark vision. I mean, it is dark in this room. There's a little bit of light coming from the from the peephole, essentially. Um, you see, a, you see a, the outline of a, a humanoid uh, in the room. Can't really make out too much more. Is it moving at all? Or? It's not moving, but it is standing very close. Is it Ignis? Because he's been pretty quiet. <laughs> is there anything in the? <laughs> all right this this hole that i'm looking through mm -hmm. is it like is there a window there or is it just a hole it's literally just a, a a peephole essentially you know big enough to put your sort of your your face almost to it you don't because you want some of the light still to get into the room but literally maybe Good. maybe five foot away from you you see the side of a you know the the silhouette of some of something's head Could an arrow fit through this hole? Um, probably not. It's sort of, it's eye hole shape size. You know, it's not a huge hole. Um, as you turn around, you spot one looking into the room that you just come out of, actually, into the kitchen, uh, which you didn't spot when you were in the kitchen. <laughs> makes, makes sense. Uh, I mean, we were just in there. I'll look back at that one as well. Yeah, it's the same kitchen that you're in. Um, I'll, I don't want to make noise, but I want to draw to these guys' attention, the hole with the person and the, the kind of just nod and such, poke and nod. We've all been there. As you do to a hole in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poke that or, you know, you, you could whisper to us, you know, step out of the room and whisper. Well, I had already... 
you guys should be in the room anyway because I already like brought the journal to your attention. Okay, so you brought us a yeah. journal up in the hallway, then you went back in the room. <laughs> I was too cool standing oh, against right. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so I then, I guess if you're not in the room, I go out of the room and mention to them that there is a zombie in the hole in the room. Or there's something in the hole in the room. Yeah, I said it's a little quick to assume it's a zombie. I mean, what I you do know is that this... Myself. Yeah, what you do likely. know, what you do know that in this room is that it's pitch black. I mean, um, this book did mention, you know, Brian, so it could very well be him, which would explain why he's yeah. not moving much. Because that, yeah, but also a good thing you, the hole is too small for you to shoot an arrow through. Um, I just as Scott chuckles at that, so I missed all of that. It's fine. So, um, Scott, would it be alright if we took a break? Yeah? I need to use the bathroom quite badly. Okay. It's through this door at the end of the hallway. Down the... Down the <laughs> <laughs> Just tell no. Brian that... Yeah, <laughs> Scott sent you. Alright, no, we'll be back, everybody. Yeah, five minutes? Uh, Is that long enough? A bit longer. Okay. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We'll be back, back in about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's more like it. <laughs> All right.